Hi everybody, Karen here. I'm sharing another tip and tricks with you. And today's tips and tricks are about working with um, our flip flaps. Uh, for those of you not familiar with flip flaps, these are memory protectors, a series of memory protectors that you can use to add additional pictures, journaling, and embellishments to your scrapbook pages. Um, they range in size from our two by two, three by three, three by four, four by four, four by six, five by seven, all the way up to our six by 12. Now, um, one thing I wanna tell you is the two by twos, three by threes, four by fours, and six by 12s are all one um, shape in the pack. Each pack typically has 12 pieces in it, but our um, three by fours, four by sixes and five by sevens all come in two different modes. So you can have pictures, you can have pockets for a portrait mode and pockets for a landscape mode in each of those packs. And I'll explain that as I show you. I wanna show you some samples, but I don't, I'm sure that you guys are like me. Oftentimes I finish a layout and I find additional pictures that I want to include that I forgot, or I may have some hidden journaling I wanna add that I don't know if I necessarily want everybody looking at the layout to be able to see. So that's, you know, I find those are the best uses for that. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through how I use them. There's many different ways. I know people that put, the, put these memory protectors, the flip flops on top of their scrapbook page after they've put it into the, the memory protector. So they will take, slide their layout in our memory protectors and then they will by the position of their photo put the flip flap on the page on the on the pocket so i'll show you one instance i have this layout of my daughter nicole it was from her senior photo session and i'm sure those of you that have had kids who are high school seniors and such you got a ton of photos from that photo session. So one thing I did with this layout, I had two pages to this layout. That's the left-hand side. There's the right-hand side. Just scoops that over so you can see both. So I had so many pictures with this, but I wanted to include more. So I created my base page. And then what I decided to do on the left-hand side is I am going to add a 6 by 12 pocket. And I'll show you guys how I do that into the page. So I put my page in the pocket and all of our pocket, these um, memory protectors, the flip flaps come with a strip of adhesive on them and then the pocket. I recommend that you have the strip of the adhesive down on the page, you, you know, against the edge of the pocket. I do recommend that you do a little bit of trimming and I'm just gonna grab my scissors quick for this because they come with a flat edge. What I always do is I cut in the edge to take a little bit of it off. And then I'm going to take and peel the adhesive off like that. And I'm gonna line it up with the edge of the paper that I've put into my pocket, line it up, and then just rub down. You can use a, um, a the bone folder for this. And then that just lets that flip over like that. So this is one piece. And then I have my six by 12 page created. So what this is, I'm gonna slip this in. I'm just trying to make sure I've got it. Yep, yeah, okay. yeah, that's what I want to do. Slip it in this way. I think this is the way I did it. <laughs> Slide that in. And flip that over. So now I've got, that's how working with a 6 by 12 one. So that's one half of my layout. And on the other half, what I've done is I've added two pockets actually three pockets here i did one 
four by six because I had this picture of her doing her dance move that she didn't necessarily want to be shown in the layout, but we wanted to show it. So I added this falling down, you know, kind of falling down this way. And then here I had a few additional pieces of her kind of walking down the road. And this is, I added kind of more of a waterfall technique. So these flip out and on both sides you have your photos. So I used two three by four pockets here and one four, five by, four by six pocket here. So you might be wondering how in the world do I get that into my page protector? I'm gonna show you. So in this case, what I did, and this is something I recommend, when I put these pockets on my page, if you notice, they are tucked up underneath the photos that I did. So what I did is I made a mark, placed them, clipped the edges like I just showed you. Before I put the, this photo down, I adhere the pocket and then I put the photo on top of it. And the same thing over here. I Before I put this photo down, I edged this and put these two and I just adhered one onto the other. To get them into a page protector, you're going to do basically one technique. What you do, and I'll show you this, is you put your page in the protector, then you're going to take a pen and I'm going to mark the edges of my pockets. So with a dot, right, it's hard to see, but I did a dot on either end and then I'm going to do a dot over here. And then what I'm going to do is take my picture, my page out of my protector. You can see the dots a little bit better here. Then what I do is I'm going to take, you can see my rule, I'm putting a ruler in here and then just to make sure I've got everything lined up. And then if you happen to have a mat, a foam mat, I have this one, it's an old one I have. What I recommend is putting a foam mat inside and then using a tool that you have that you can put, I would poke and make a circle at the edge of each piece. At the edge of each of your dots. So now I've poked the holes because it's a recommended step to do that because otherwise you could end up with tears in your page protector once you go to insert your pages. So then I'm gonna take, put my ruler back in and because I want this to be straight, just wanna make sure I line that up. And then I'm going to use an, an X-Acto knife or whatever cutting tools, you could even use scissors. Carefully, I'm gonna cut from one hole to the other. And I'm going to do the same here. I have to do this one a little bit different because I can't, my, my ruler won't quite go there. I'm going to cut across. You can probably put a mat in if you wish. Um, I'm not cutting very hard because it goes through very easily. And I'm going to cut here. And join up my lines. So now what I have is I have my holes in my page protector for my page pockets to go into as I insert the page. This one's going to be a little bit tricky just because I've got this waterfall here. So, but what I do is I fold this one down and as I'm inserting the page protector, inserting the paper into the page protector, I'm going to line this up and pull this through at the bottom. And then here, it just takes a little bit of wiggling because I had my waterfall card, my waterfall pockets went to the side, just slightly, gently pulling it through until you get the first one through. 
and then bringing it this way. And now I have both of them through. And then I just fold this up. I can put that on top. And then I, now I've got my two page layout with my page, my, my flip flap protectors, six by 12 on this side, two three by fours, one four by six on this side. And you can use them in any situation. They're great for, like I said, extra photos in the layout, hidden journaling, hidden photos. You can, if you wish, I've seen some where people have done um, a waterfall where it's gonna come down multiple pieces down and put a piece of twine such as this underneath their photo and tie it up through, tie it around in front of the photo. All you'd need to do in that situation would be mark two holes where you're gonna want your twine to come out, put your twine under your photo, pull it through the page protector, tie it down nicely. So I will um, post a little list of additional uses and some my tips and tricks for using the flip flaps. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, hopefully I'll see you the next time I post one. Thank you.